Barney was one of my favourite owls here at Fotherdale. Barney had lived here for over four years, but sadly, on the 23rd of October 2020, I saw him for what would be the last time. Could he have sustained one too many attacks, been hit by a vehicle, or simply died of old age? At least four years old, Barney was already beyond the average age of a wild barn owl. Well, I'm sad Barney's gone. He had a great run here. So here's a look back at his extraordinary life here at Fotherdale. Barney burst onto the scene in 2017, pairing up with a female owl, and this was the one before Gilfie. I watched Barney and this first mate caught him down in the elm stump, and this was a wonderful thing to see. They spent hours preparing the nest, and before long they had four eggs for their efforts. Four chicks hatched and were doing really well, and I was able to foster on another four rescue chicks. This led to some amazing scenes, as this pair brought up an eight chick superbrood and all successfully fledged. After sadly losing his mate at the end of 2017, Barney partnered again as Gilfie moved into the area. Barney and Gilfie were soon caught in a mating in the elm stump, and this was the beginning of what would be a three-year relationship. With this new partnership blossoming, Barney would do anything for Gilfie, even fighting off tawny owls on the feeding post, which is no mean feat because tawny owls are much more powerful. And soon his hard work paid off. I watched as Gilfie revealed the pair's first clutch of three eggs. Look at Barney here in his prime, surveying his territory. Barney and Gilfie cared for their chicks really well, and they soon became strong young owlets, fledging in the late summer. As the next breeding season came around, Barney and Gilfie were in the elm stump, courting and preening, and this was to reaffirm their bonds for the next breeding season ahead. Barney provided for Gilfie as she began to lay, even defending her from attacking tawny owls. Soon the pair had another clutch, and this time four eggs. Three of the chicks hatched, and Barney would check in on them regularly. This is one of my favourite moments when the chicks venture up to the nest entrance and I get to see them actually in real life rather than just watching them through the TV screen. Look at this sweet moment when one of the chicks pushes through its siblings to get a peek at the world outside. As the first brood were fledging, Gilfu was already on another clutch of eggs over at Sycamore Stump. I was delighted when Barney and Gilfie raised a second brood, because this was a first for the barn owls at Fotherdale. The spring of 2020 rolled by, and the pair headed back down to Elmstone to start another brood. Gilfie laid another three eggs, which was another promising clutch. But as the first egg hatched, the others weren't so successful. After cracking a hole, the second chick seemed to be unable to get out of that egg. Barney seems to mourn the loss of this unhatched chick. When the third egg didn't hatch, I named the surviving chick Sola, and as an only chick she grew fast, provided for by a busy Barney. Meanwhile, Barney and Gilfu were courting again at the sycamore stump, preparing for a second brood. 
Despite coating in a sycamore stump, maybe this site was just too hot in the summer. Gilfie headed back down to the elm stump and laid a clutch of eggs alongside Solo. And once the eggs were laid, an eight week old Solo took a turn brooding. This is something I'd never seen before. As Gilfie brooded the eggs for a month, Solo stayed alongside her for the whole process and this was really unusual. Barney was a bit put out because Solo was taking food which was intended for Gilfie, his partner. Look how Barney's giving Solo the cold shoulder. As the second brood of three chicks hatched, disaster struck. And one morning after a wet and windy weekend, Solo undertook a nest raid. She stormed into the nest and stole food from her mother's beak, gobbling it straight down. And then, in a tragic turn of events, Solo grabbed the largest chick in the brood. Gilfie was completely confused, torn between her maternal instincts for a grown-up daughter and that tiny chick. In a flurry of feathers, Solo had killed the chick and then retreated from the nest with the chick in her beak. Gilfie was close behind her, chasing her from the nest. A forlorn Gilfie returned to her two remaining chicks and settled down to brood them. Barney returned to find his partner with only two chicks and he seemed to be confused and looking for that lost chick. But it's gone. After this event, Solo was ousted from the nest. Thankfully, the two remaining chicks, Hans and Greet, survived this ordeal and Barney provided for them well. He even attempted to feed them as Gilfie was away. This is unusual behaviour for a male barn owl and as you can see, his technique needs some work. He's trying to give this tiny chick a whole piece of prey. He worked around the clock and soon Hans and Greet were ready to fletch. Barney truly was an incredible owl and a fantastic father. In his time here at Fotherdale, he fathered 15 chicks and he also helped to raise five other surrogate chicks too. It was truly an honour to get an insight into this life of this spectacular owl. While it's sad to see the end of Barney's story, it's exciting to see Gilfie start a new chapter with a new mate, Finn. <laughs>